Calculating drug doses can be a common type of question tested in the UCAT. The method of calculating drug doses is hardly any different than any other type of question that requires you to convert units and cross multiply values given. But the wording of this particular type of question can throw some people off. For that reason, we are going to have a look at a few example questions and teach you how to quickly and effectively tackle them should they come up at the exam. Let's take a look. In this question, we are given several crucial pieces of information. The dose of the drug, according to a patient's weight, a patient's weight, as well as the amount of drug administered in a certain solution. We are asked what solution should we administer if we are going to give this drug according to someone's certain weight. The first thing you need to do is decide on the amount of drug you will give this patient. If the drug is given in a dose of 1 mg per kilogram and the patient weighs 75 kg, all you need to do is multiply the dose by the patient's weight. 1 mg per kilogram times 75 kg equals 75 mg. Therefore, we need to administer 75 mg of active substance. The next step is to find out what amount the actual solution given will be, knowing that an injection of 150 mg is given in a 3 ml solution. If 150 mg is given in 3 ml, how many mils will 75 milligrams be given? As you can pretty quickly tell, 75 milligrams is exactly half of our given example. So 75 milligrams will be given in 1.5 mils. If the calculation wasn't to be so easy, the way to solve this step is to cross multiply. 150 milligrams over three mils equals 75 milligrams over X mils. 150 times X equals 75 times three. 150x equals 225, x therefore equals 1.5 mils. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Let's take a look at another example. This is essentially the same question in that it gives three of the elements needed and asks for the final one. But instead of the solution administered, here we are asked about the patient's weight. Therefore, we need to do the same calculations once again, only this time reversed. We have the standard solution given, which is three mils for an injection of 150 milligrams. And we ask if we need to give a 2.8 mils solution to our patient, what amount of active substance would there need to be in it? Remember what we said about cross multiplying when the calculation isn't immediately obvious. 150 milligrams over three mils equals X milligrams over 2.8 mils. 150 milligrams times 2.8 mils equals X milligrams times three mils. 420 equals three X. X equals 420 over three, which equals 140 milligrams. Therefore, we now know that our patient needs 140 milligrams of the drug. We also know that this drug is administered as one milligram per kilogram. So finding his weight is pretty straightforward. 140 milligrams over one milligram per kilogram equals 140 kilograms, which is our patient's weight. The correct answer is therefore B. This in a nutshell is how you solve drug dose problems. Once again, the secret is in practice. Practice them long enough and you'll be able to solve them in no time. We hope that this lesson was useful in tackling this new type of question and good luck. That concludes another UCAT lesson. 
If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAC questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.